Why would you listen to Tony? For expert apartment investment opinion. With Tony, you don't get a developer's laptop. Well, well, Noel, there's, uh, there's lots of apartments that never actually hit the market. So uh, whether these be off the plan, uh, whether a developer needs some pre-sales, whether they're reserved for particular uh, buying groups or for particular advisors that, uh, that deal in uh, an off-plan or... Um, or off-market type apartments for their clients. But basically, you're getting in on the ground floor, right? So anything that's on the market will obviously attract a higher price because it's got more exposure, it's got more people looking at it, and therefore more competition. Um, it also, when, when apartments are complete, um, it allows the price to go up because it caters for those people who can't visualize a product. So there's plenty of people on well, plenty of humans who, who can't visualise a finished product, what it's going to look like, so they'll be loath to, to commit to something that isn't constructed or you know working off a set of plans or, or, or um, construction drawings. Right, and are there traps with uh, getting getting in on uh, so-called off-market apartments as an investment? Oh, definitely, yeah. So a lot of a lot of the um, a lot of the bigger projects, um, multi-storey projects, uh, operate on off-market transactions. Typically they will need some uh, pre-sales to get their funding or the finance to complete the construction of the project. And therefore, um, in order to do that, what can happen is um, there can be fake, basically fake contracts. Um, so you don't want to be involved in something like that and there's been plenty of cases where that's happened in Australia. I mean, I'll, 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 the real safety factor for a, for a consumer or a purchaser um, will be the quality of the developer um, and also the quality of the builder. So typically the bigger the bigger the project, the bigger the risk um, and also the more things that can, can go wrong with it that are out of, out of the consumer's control. So typically we want to look for smaller projects, um, less than 20 units for example. Um, we want to look in good solid areas and we want to look at the pedigree of the, of the developer. Um, are they uh, you know, are they borrowing up to the hill to make this project happen? Are they, um, uh, you know, have they got more than one project happening at, at once? Are they going to, are they going to lose interest in the project that they're working on? Your project that you want to buy in? Um, you want to look at the the state of the market, of course, um, and the market for that particular design or for that particular type of apartment. So there's quite a lot of factors that you need to consider. Yeah. Okay. So if I was to come to you as an experienced. Um, expert in the area, what you're going to be doing for me is showing me a number of different off-market apartments that, that uh, aren't being aren't being retailed, so-called, and just go through you know price prices versus area versus developer and the like, just to uh, to give me a, a range of options and so I can better understand how this all works. Yep, that's right, Noel. Well, uh, the, the, the way I summarise that is mo most people will come to me and say, what should I buy, Tony? And uh, my job is to show them what not to buy. Right? Yeah, so okay. If I, can, if I can show you the things that, you know, things that you should be avoiding, yep. um, then, then you'll have a much better chance of buying something of quality and something that's going to be good for your situation. All right, no problem, mate. Thanks very much. Okay, Noel.